Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we're still at Chorley here. Let's have a quick look here at the map of where we are. And I think we had just barely, if I remember correctly, it's been a few days. I think we just barely had flipped this to our side. But now it's back on 106% 106, 106 uh, Draconis Combine. There really isn't much we can do against this today because we don't really have the contracts here on this planet to be able to handle that. But there are a couple of contracts here I do want to take today. Um, up around the four and a half skull range, which will net us a few things, I think. Um, and let's just jump right into it. Might as well. Let's go to contracts. I hope everybody uh, had a great Mother's Day with their, if they've got, if their mother is still alive. Hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day um, with your, uh, uh, with your mom. And if you've got a wife and kids, hope that she had a great Mother's Day too. Um, ours was really interesting. But anyway, uh, that being said, uh, let's jump into this uh, mission right here. I mentioned last episode that it might be okay to take a few missions against Clan Jade Falcon to be able to get some gear. And I understand what um, Boyd of Zinj was saying when he said, you know, there are those um, uh, clan units that are acting out of line. And in this case, this is actually the, pers the perfect one for it. You know, contravening all decency and acceptable behavior on the battlefield, Clan Jade Falcon has been targeting our hospitals and medical supplies. So we're seeking to redistribute our uh, supplies to safer locations, but we need to take care of these people that are actually um, targeting the wrong things. So um, while we're not really doing it for the planetary government, we're more doing it to punish a unit. We'll gladly take the sea bills and salvage. So we're going to take this. We're going to go full salvage on this because we do need some clan salvage. We're slowly running out of stuff that I find is really important to have. Um, so we're going to accept this. And we're going to run our main lance. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, I think we're going to run the Mjolnir again. Um, it was running really, really well last time. Um, fairly well anyway. Uh, I don't think it's quite outfitted the way it should be. And I'm sort of contemplating whether or not we're going to stick to the the extra damage loadout. I don't really know if that's making a big difference or not. Um, like the having a benefit of everyone getting better initiative um, and being able to see more over the Mjolnir doing 15% more damage with the Gauss Rifle and PPCs. Uh, if we put the command console in here, it might actually be a better idea. So I don't, I'm, I'm still kind of torn at the moment. I don't know. Let's just see how it performs in this battle, and then we'll, that'll dictate what we do here. So let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Okay. Well, we know this one. We know this map. Um, let's move up. Because that's how we do... We got the speed, let's make it happen. Roger, full speed. We got the tools, we got the talent. We got the something or others. Got the terror. That's it. Tools, talent, and terror. I've got something unknown on my sensor. That has to be probably the first time in a long time <clears throat> we've been targeted right off the bat by something usually it's a turn before they actually shoot at us so that's kind of interesting right can to shoot you with a couple of medium lasers might have been a headshot uh, might have been a Chinese jet pilot all right let's see if we can hit him again yeah we got lots of ammo, so let's use the Goss. Oof. Let's see what kind of juice these guys have got. They're standing still, though, which is a huge mistake for them. Hellfire? Okay, man. You want to stand still? Ooh, what else do we got? Stormwolf, 45 tons. Lupus. Um, Hellfire 60, right? Ryokin 2, I have no idea how much that thing weighs. 
It's a heavy. He's 70 tons. Okay. We didn't hit him in the head, did we? No. <laughs> uh, what does he got? LBXs, LRMs, medium pulses, ER mediums. What are you running? Sixes? You're running fours. All right, these guys have got pretty damn good loadouts. How is this guy a... Oh, that's the pilot is a scout. It's a heavy mech. Um, yeah. He's standing in the trees, though. Ah, man, who'd we shoot? This is a heavy mech. Yeah. Lupus the doofus. Uh, we got a rack five in this guy, so I don't need to move in. I forgot we had to, we had changed that up a little bit. Um, huh. Interested to see how this large improved heavy works. Uh, I'm going to hold off on the... Um, I'm going to hold off on the Warlord. I'm going to wind this rack up, though, and we're going to hammer this guy. Maybe not. Okay. See, I'm not worried, so worried with this mech to lose the... Like, if we run out of ammo, we still got that large, improved, heavy laser, which hits for 90. So, I don't feel like... We have to worry too much about ammo on that one. It's not even moving. Standing by. This guy isn't shot yet, right? This is the kind of time Hellfire isn't shot either, but we have way better chance to hit on this guy. So we're going to hammer this dude right here. This guy's overheating, eh? No? Okay. Thought he might have been. This guy's gonna go now, probably. Yep. I've been sensor locked. Waiting for orders. Moving to position. Let's see if we can pull this guy out of the battle. Firing. firing nope. Taken a hit. Yeah, but he's not out of the battle, dude. Dude. Dude, we gotta get him out of the battle, dude. You know, I don't know what they're doing. Clans are completely known for their mobility. And these guys are just not being mobile. So we still got two more uh, chances at mechs here. Looks like we're going to get some good salvage. I want to try to avoid headshots on this one. I mean, on our team, obviously. But um, hopefully on their team as well. Because I'm looking for some clan-enhanced imaging. Um, it's one of the things that we're, we just have nothing left of now. That minus one recoil, plus one to hit is really nice. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Sure, man. Sure, man. Whatever. Jeez, dude. Should have moved. 
Um. Oh, this guy's almost been cored. Uh. See if we can leg this hellfire. Oh, that was close. That was close. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Here I am talking about clients being mobile and now I'm pretty much standing still. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, you got a good shot on us. Um, can you call that guy for me? I need you to call him. Smooth order received. This guy right here. What's he got left in the CT? 99. Still got a lot left. Okay. Let's go with three then. I don't know if we'll get him. We might. Uh, let's Warlord this though. Give us a bit better chance to hit. Just gonna fire. On it. Significant damage on him. Wow. Didn't even hit the CT, but we pretty much stripped the whole side away. So we'll put Mockingbird on that problem. Gotta stop taking damage. I see that. I need this guy gone, please. Thank you. Target down. Let's start getting serious with these guys, which we should have been doing from day one, but damn. Um, okay, there we go. Two mechs down. Christ, we're gonna be out of AMS ammo. I'm losing armor bad. Yeah. He's super hot. Don't worry about it. And I messed the camera up. Because I'm good like that. I'm smooth like that. My mech moves forward and it hits like that. Okay, we're gonna shoot this guy because dude doesn't want to move. We'll take that shot. Tag, motherfucker! Tag! You're it! Location confirmed. You don't want to move. Let's show him why it's a bad idea. Whoops. Reporting critical hit. That was a little bit much. Waiting for orders. Not really. Roger that. See if we can get the other side here. Unlikely, but... Yeah, well. That other guy's probably dropping a load in his pants right about now. It's because we need to cool off. Um, Let's push this guy, because he's got a bad, barely damaged leg here. We get it? We got it. Nice. Have a seat, buddy. Have a seat. You look a little tired. And we're just tired of looking at you. Thanks for coming out. Whoops. And that's why you don't run the red line. Do do do. Um. Sure. Ouch. Full speed, please. We need to get down here. No shooting, just running. Reading you.
This leg, please. Leave the ultra off. We don't need it. Have a seat. Ready for order. He must be in the minus initiatives by now. Uh... Go to here. Copy that. Let's grab this leg. Save the ammo. Nicely done. One less target. All right, let's get to our rendezvous point. Commander. So I think we got a sufficient number of uh, head components out of that. So I'm not going to be worried too much about trying to save components off these next waves. Uh, I mean, I'll save what I can, but we're out to kill now. Yes, Commander. Because we took too much damage on that first run. Full speed. Totally my fault, but what can you do? Let's not activate yet. Yes, Commander. I'm sure, all the weapons are up. Because you know how my memory is. All right, getting in here. And yeah. Affirmative. And yep. Yeah. Got it. So we're gonna use the meal near to activate. Uh we most likely can do it this turn too. Uh, how far can you get? Oh yeah, you can get across. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll get the meal near to activate. So Griff, let's get you over here. Still got a bit of instability, but we'll be probably most likely walking the next turn, so let's get down here, get us in some strike position, and let's activate just because we can. Let's do this. Please be tough vehicles. Alright. Keep them alive. Yeah, we'll try, buddy. We will try. I hate how they move so fast on their first turn. I mean, it's nice to get them up ahead of you, but when they got running right into enemies, it's like a really bad yes, thing to happen. Can we get eyes on? I don't think we can. Let's just get up behind them, though, just in case. Okay, we do get eyes on over here. Really, really bad chances to hit. They have lower armor as a timber wolf. Large heavy lasers. Uh, I think we just fire as we got it here. Hopefully, hope we got a lucky hit. Nope. Failed to connect. He hasn't moved yet, so... Viper. Thank you! It's a MASH truck. I'm here. Anybody used to watch the show MASH? I'm gonna reserve. If you did drop it in the comment section below, I used to watch MASH all the time when I was a kid. Oh, we got 11 of them. Huntsmen. They're grouping up back there. Okay. Full speed, please. Let's get up here. We want to play the long game with these guys. With the exception of Mockingbird. Can you get into that Timberwolf? I don't think you can. We can get these guys though. Do we want to play that? I don't want to think I want to play that game though. Let's get into here. This will give us some options next turn. And let's get Griff up here. Get some options now. Got our Warlord up. How tough are these guys to hit? Not very tough at all. ERPPC. Mediums, LBX, Goss, Mediums. We can probably kill this guy outright. 125 on the front though, maybe not. Um, let's shoot the Huntsman. And let's Warlord this up. Maybe we get a quick kill on him. And fire. No, but we did significant damage to him. Might only be one more turn before we pull him down. 
Um, let's just get on that guy again if we can. I'm gonna dial the rack up to four. Fire. Ugh. Should have unloaded. Oh well. I'm hoping we can maneuver our timber wolf to leg this guy. But we'll see where they move here. I don't know who's moving yet. Yeah, Viper. Well, you're gonna eat our, you're gonna eat AC twenty. You gotta go down first, I think, because you're right there. Let's give him the, uh, how do you do? Let's remove him from the, the map here. Let's do this. See ya! We just want to walk up to here, keep our left and right torsos turned. Oof. Heavy hitter, man. Heavy hitter. Yeah, I saw that. We're on him, don't worry. We're on him. Griff, you know what to do. Member of the crew, you know what to do. See ya, leg. And torso and whatever. Oh, we just got the leg. Did we? we got a, okay, we got a knockdown, but did we get the leg? Didn't say it did. But we hit it enough times. Yeah, we did. Okay. I just missed the uh, text on that. Yeah, you guys have been pointing out the the, uh, the text that I've been missing. Thank you for that. Um, it's hard, you know, when you're when you're YouTubing and you're trying to talk and figure out what's going on all at the same time. It's sometimes hard. I miss text a lot. So thank you for that. There we go. And results the same. That's what we want. Let's move forward, you guys. Get into the battle. With your no weapons. I don't know if these guys are actually hiding shiz in their uh, On it. in their vehicles here, but if they are, not my concern. I'm here for salvage, baby. Let's dial it up because we can. All nice. Yeah, fly. Fly in mech parts, or vehicle parts in this case. Huntsman, let's just finish this guy up. See ya! Do I feel bad about killing these guys? Yeah, yeah I do. But it is our job. They got a line. Gotta snap them back in. Technically they ain't dead anyway. Let's take the head off. Oh, really? Okay, Griff, get the hell up there. Let's move. Let's dance. Mm, still kind of iffy on this rack, uh, larger improved heavy laser loadout. Let's just reserve. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to stand here. Let's let these guys go. I don't want to lose my uh, initiative due to reserving. We'll just stay there. Okay, not bad. Let's get a little up here. Now you can move. Just walk it up. You got you got the long range weapons, so I'm not really that worried about you being a little bit behind. But you definitely need to be up here. Let's get moving. No shooting, just running. No shooting, just running. We got to move that AC-20 into play up here. Let's get up on the road. 
I'm going to be able to get you behind some cover if we can. So maybe up in here or something. Not much cover around. Come on, vehicle. There it is, folks. Here they come. Four more on the ground. Let's deal with them. <laughs> I love how the dropships just kind of pass each other without shooting. You'd expect there to be aerospace fighters and stuff. So we got another Timberwolf A. A baloney. A bologna sandwich. A griffin and something that's very, very well hidden. Um, what is it? Tank destroyer SM3. So is this guy really hard to hit? But we're going to take the shots. Okay, he's tagged. Uh, let's not move in just yet. That's a kill zone, if I've ever seen one. We're going to speed up in a minute and move in. Just taking pot shots for now. We're so fast that we just go before them, so... Let's see if we can get the rack on this guy. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go to three. I don't want too much recoil. We got one hit anyway. Not bad. Got Rhino down here. Oh my god! Rhino! The old Spider-Man TV show back in the 70s and 80s. Oh my god, Rhino! Um, nah. Yeah. Timberwolf. Let's just fire on him. Oof. Two hits. Nicely done. Let him know we got the range on him, baby. Let him know what we got. You almost want these guys to land at the beginning of the turn. So rather than the last vehicle moving out, you'd rather have it be the first one. That's relatively quick. So when they do come in, that first turn, they don't, you know, they'll, some of them will move and they'll, they'll lose their uh, defensive bonus. So that when you start off the next round, you'll be able to kill them. But it didn't work out this way this time, unfortunately. But whatever, we deal with it. We'll deal. Come on, man. Bologna sandwich. Get moving. This guy's a sitting duck. He's got like no armor. All it's going to take is a PPC hit. Or a Gauss rifle hit and that friggin... Oh. Um, okay. Why are we not moving here, guys? Did this guy go first? Probably. That's 60, and this is L. It couldn't move, because these guys are all in the way. Frig you. <sighs> Painful. This guy will get jammed. Then this guy will go. we got a whole other turn to wait. Maybe two turns. If this vehicle's fast, this guy's going to block him for a whole other turn. So we got some good initial damage on this Timberwolf. Hopefully we can leg it maybe next turn, or if we can't, we'll just blow it up. Griffin I'm not too worried about. They usually got two laser and four missile hard points, so... Well, I don't know if those vehicles can actually see us. Yeah, I don't think they could. They're probably just blind. That's just why they're just sitting there. Um, maybe. I could be completely wrong about that. But we're not going to run. Try and maximize our stealth here. So we target this guy. Yes, yeah, he's been torso hit. Got pretty good chances to hit. I um, have no idea what the tank destroyer's got on it. This guy's got an ERPPC and a pair of sixes. So this is really our main threat. So let's go after this guy. We're going to warlord it. I think we're just going to fire, just get some damage on him. 
a lot of damage on him. Get a lot of uh, orange opened up here. Both torsos are opened. Pretty hard hit. Uh, if you're going to move in, better do it in a way that uh, it's going to keep you alive. We're going to hard hit this guy, see if we can remove him from the battle. There we go. Thank you. Yes, Commander. Thank you. Thank you so much. Got it. Can you dial that rack up for me? Huh. It's a really bad chance to hit on that tank destroyer. Not that much better on that guy. So I think it's the tank destroyer. Let's dial it up. Got the ammo. I only one hit, eh? It's an AC-10 Bologna. Is he panicking? Probably. Ready for order. Certainly looks that way. Let's see if we can get as close as possible. On my way. Double time. Let's confirm this. Let's get some damage on this tank destroyer if we can. Confirm. Alright, well, one hit. We'll take it. Hopefully he's not going to shoot for the vehicles. Let's see what he does. I think he's up now. Come on, buddy. Show us what you got. Got a whole other mission to do here. No, it's the Griffin. So I saw Infinity War on the weekend. I think I mentioned this already. Just thinking of trying to get stuff to talk about. Um, it was okay. I didn't think it was amazing. Um, I feel the storyline let the whole thing down. Uh, the effects were fantastic. The acting was amazing. Um, I think really the only thing that I found really hindered it was the story. Uh, that's it. That's uh, the only thing I could think of. Uh, the editing was quite good, although I'd like to see what scenes they cut. I'm sure they cut a lot of scenes. If I had to guess, they probably cut a half an hour from that film. Unless they were really, really diligent, um, it was probably more like, yeah, about around a half an hour they cut out of that film. At least it felt like it. Some scenes didn't feel like they were hanging for me, um, but they felt like there was parts that just were snipped here and there, just to get it within run length. It's like, oh, we could take that, or oh, we could take that. You know, being an editor, I mean, I know how that works. That's why I like to see what the final cut was before they actually made the final edit. Because, you know, when you're editing, you just throw everything in, including the kitchen sink. Um, and then you trim it down after that, right? So I'm interested to see how much they pulled from that. Because, like I said, there was a few scenes where I was like, ah, uh, you know, frame shaving. I could see the frame shaving. Let's get rid of this guy. Or not. Goss Rifle's really inconsistent, I gotta say. I'm wondering if... You know, I'm just spitballing here. So we've got the rack right now in the Timberwolf. If we make the mule near the command mech, I say we put the command console in it, and put a rack in the one arm, and then something else in the other arm, laser-wise. Uh, I think it's probably going to help overall. I mean, or we just put a rack in the one arm and leave the two ER PPCs in the other. I mean, we're not going to get bonus damage, obviously, because once the command console goes in, that goes out the window. But then, you know what? We're going to lose accuracy because we'll lose the TTS plus weapons. We're going to lose, lose the energy bonus to hit from the... Uh, energy fire control system we have so really I mean at that point maybe we put some spammy weapons in there what are you doing coming over and give him a little bit of repair so he can get up <laughs> get up get up you're our only hope <laughs> 
I already got short range weapons, buddy. Gotta get up. You got the PPC. Let's get this done. And then he's just not gonna shoot. Oh. You guys are in a world of hurt now. Alright. Let's deal him for the let's deal him the death blow. Let's find out who's best to hit here. What do we got? That's a lot. Let's I think we got overkill for this guy. I don't think we know we don't need a lot on him. Tank destroyer. Vehicle. Let's go after the tank destroyer. And fire. Okay, got the tags on him. Okay, bird. Uh, we need to hit this guy from the front because he's taking the most damage in the front. So let's get around this way. Order acknowledged. Um, no such thing as overkill. There's just kill. Reporting. Enemy vehicle report. Thank you. The baloney's gonna go now. I think it's going to be one more turn after this. I mean, I could try a split fire. Like, I can move forward on the Griffin. With the Timberwolf. Put the rack on the uh, Griffin. And then put everything else to the vehicle. And then hope, hopefully the Mjolnir with the Goss and the two PPCs finishes the vehicle up. Depending on where he moves, that is. It's probably going to come down in here somewhere. But we'll see what he does. Unless he panics. He's thinking about it. At least it's not crashing. You can tell because the fog is getting all jittery at 60 frames per second. Oh. He's like shocked. He's like, we didn't get, we didn't get our target. Oh, my rack's jammed. Oh, well. Let's see if we can finish this guy up if we get lucky here. Nope. I need that mech on, please. Confirmed. Let's just fire on him. Oh, we got his leg. And torso. And arm. And a knockdown. And a pilot injury. And some more explosions. He's got, like, nothing left. He's a stick! I think he's got a Serm 6 left, though. Doesn't he? Yep. Not that it matters. <laughs> Oh, I love that AMS. Thank you so much. Mr. AMS. Let's rack drive this guy. Aye, aye. Eh, we got enough ammo for this one, so that's kind of good. Firing. In all Thank you. Made up for that last turn. Alright, Griff. Don't miss this time. Not like you're actually going to, but... See ya. There it is, folks. Enemy mech clan on clan justice. Mission successful. I think that match could have been a, a little bit differently if that first lance had appeared second. They were full strength. They probably could have taken down a vehicle or two. Those vehicles were really lightly armored. So it would have been nasty if they, they weren't under strength. But, you know. So we got a 30% increase. This is going to definitely co cover our uh, repair costs, which is barely going to be anything. Mockingbird took a fair bit of damage. Our other Timberwolves took some damage. Mjolnir, I don't think, took anything. I think he managed to get through unscathed in this one, which is nice. Nice to see. This is what I like. Nice distribution of kills. Once again, Mockingbird coming out on top. Nicely done. Rhino actually got three kills. Okay, cool. Can use the XP. All right, now, what are we going to take? Now, I, I'm really interested, more interested in components. We could get a Storm Wolf and then hope we get some components out of that. There's lots of Timberwolf parts I'd like to take, but I really need other components at the moment. Let's see what we got down here. Um, it's really internals. We got five. We can take five pieces of salvage. So the launchers and stuff, like these things like this, we got so many of these. We got three of these, right? If it was an Ultra 20, I'd be like, sure. Okay, so that's a good possibility. We got two of them, so maybe we don't need that. Uh, we don't need Clan Endo because we got like, what, seven or something? Five? Uh, Clan XL engines are possibilities. What's this? Fire control system flak. Two auto cannon. Two plus two accuracy with auto cannons. 50% increased critical chance with auto cannons. Minus two recoil with auto cannons. 
Um, I'm going to drop that in because I that's the first time I've seen that. That's kind of cool. Uh, it doesn't look like we're getting a lot of fire control systems here that we wanted. Patrick Slicks. Oh my god, we got ripped off. They barely had anything. I guess they all had basic clan gear. Now, Patrick materials. We don't have any right now. I could definitely use them for the Black Knights. Um, and we definitely... You know what? I'm taking three of these because we might as well go for the sea bills now. Might as well grab a 375. We've already got one, but we could get... Well... Better off with the clan double heatsink kit, I think. They're more expensive, right? Yeah, they are. So, I think we take a patchwork material as well, though. I think we go this route. I was hoping for some clan headgear, but no such luck. Okay, well, let's see what we get out of this. Alright, we got one Hellfire part, one Huntsman part, one, two Ryokin parts. Another Storm Wolf part, Timber Wolf part, Vapor Eagle part, or sorry, a, a Viper part. Bunch of clan weapons, double heat sink, double heat sink kit. Okay, that's a bonus. And LRM uh, Artemis ammo, which we have 20 of. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, let's have a look here. 208,000. All right, so it was pretty much what we made. We only made, what, 70,000 out of that? That kind of sucks. Not that it matters. I mean, we got three clan triple X or double XL. Or, sorry, clan XL engines, not double XL. Uh, so we're going to wait six days and get our lance back. Uh, and then we're going to go after another mission here. And then between this episode and next episode, I will jump out. And once again, let's have a double check just to make sure I didn't miss any component damage while we were fighting. I don't think we took any, but just want to make sure. How many times have we gone into that uh, contract screen and... I've been like, what? We got component damage. How do we get component damage? Well, you got component damage because you weren't watching. That's why. Brilliant Minds. Recovery. Um, so another ma another uh, mission just popped up here. So I was thinking about doing this one. Um, Yarn Folk. But this one here is against who? It's Four Skull. Less salvage, though. The ultimate target. Who's ultimate? Well, yeah. You know what? You know, I keep looking for the friggin' opposing force there, but it's just right here, local pirates. Um, I don't know. We go four with a better chance to get so better salvage, or do we go... Let's go with the better chance. Let's go for the chance to get better salvage. So, let's accept this. And let's deploy. Alright, here we go. In and out mission. Locate the scientist and retrieve her. Way the hell up there. And then it get over to there. Well, we're going to destroy everything in our path, so not really we're that worried about stuff. Chances are we got a lance out front here, so uh, they shot at us early last time, so let's just walk it up. So I'm trying to think, I, I want to refit this Mjolnir, I think, between episodes, because we're going to jump off this planet, most likely. Um, and I want to try it with the command console, just to see what the difference is um, with our performance. But if I do that, I mean, really, we should mount a rack in it then. It should just be the long-range fire support. I wish I had an Ultra 20, another Clan Ultra 20, but we don't. And that would be for the other Timberwolf that when we lost one, but we got what we got here. SRM carrier, LRM carrier, eh. Standing by. I don't I'm not really missing the um Rolling. I'm not missing the uh missiles at all at the moment. Taking the shot. But we really haven't had a mission where we needed them. No love on that strike. Yeah, I could tell there was no love on that strike. I sure as hell wasn't loving it. Yeah. And Rhino, hopefully we'll be able to finish this up. We're just going to stand in the open because better chances to hit that way. And fire. Ooh. Okay. Penned. Critical hit, Commander. 
They can't see us. Commander? Coordinates received. What else do we got here? We got another blip. What do we got up here? Black cat. Okay. A black cat has crossed your path. Time to remove that blip. Turn it into a smudge. And I can't think of what I can rhyme this shit with. Alright. Who's that? The one thing we do need a lot of is freaking arm mounts. They've made them so rare in this game now, it's so hard to find them. If anybody, please anybody, has a list of mechs that have arm mounts, let me know. I'm just gonna headshot those fuckers. Pardon my language. I'm trying to keep things clean on this channel if I can, but, you know, I'm not always the cleanest person with my language, unfortunately. Use it when you need it. So I tell my kids. It's funny because they've sworn a few times. Um, but it's like, I, I can't get angry at them because it was like, yeah, it's the absolute right moment to swear. But you used it correctly. If you're using it correctly, I can't fault you. Don't let that black cat cross your path. Oh, but don't. Full speed. No target. Waiting for orders. Okay, can we get eyes on up here? Up here somewhere. There we go. Thank you. Let's fire this hunchback. Eh. As long as we're hitting him every turn, it's all that matters. I don't know what version this is. I do now. The LRM5. Oh, that's the SRM back. SRM back. Standing by. Hey, uh, why don't you go show that guy what he should be mounting? What hunchbacks are really good for? It's they're good for this. See, you should be using that. Yeah, well, it only hurt because you drove the whole the point home so well. Waiting for orders. He's gonna go cry home to his mama. Moving to position. Let's finish him up if we can. Headshots. Not like we're gonna save anything amazing out of this guy anyway. See ya. Oh, I love those animations when the mechs explode now. They're so beautiful. And I'm trapped in this valley, aren't I? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, Griff. Pay attention to what you're doing. You're gonna get us all killed. Oh, there's the black cat. What's up, baby? Oh. He's mad. He's fucking mad. I think he's mad because we killed his buddy. I don't blame him. I'd be mad too. Moving to position. Really bad chance to hit, but we're taking it. He's got the height advantage, so... If Griff wasn't out of, so sorely out of position... What do you think, buddy? Give us a bit better chance to hit. Let's apply some damage to this guy. Fire. Wait, what the hell did he have on him? There was a pirate something or other. Oh, you're shooting at me now. Nice. No, 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 no. Don't shoot at him. Over the red line. Yeah, I need to get you back here, buddy. Hooray! Pirate fucking snub noses. You want to know why I don't use pirate gear? There you go. Right there. Right there. It's the whole reason why I don't like using pirate gear. I don't like shit to be unpredictable. It's nice when it works, but if it don't work, 
it ain't so nice. And you're going to reserve because I think that SRM carrier is coming around in there in a second. I don't want you to be uh, a choice target. Uh, let's fire on this guy. Goes an arm. No mercy on this guy, please and thank you. Can we reserve this, please? Roger that. Standing by. Here he comes. Can we get eyes on that serum Come carrier, on, please? Yep, let's finish him up if we can. Actually, let's get into a place where we can shoot both just to see what my chances are. And what this guy's got left. A whole lot of nothing. Two snub nosed PPCs, two light PPCs. See, that's a, actually not a bad loadout. Two IRL 20s and MMLs with Infernos. It's kind of a nice loadout, but still, it's like, it's no good if you can't use it, buddy. This guy's got a lot of SRM6s. We make sure this guy dies first. Are go. Yeah, thank you. Reporting enemy vehicle removed. Good to go. Time for a little payback. What do you think, buddy? Dial the rack up. Let's fire. Actually, nope. Let's warlord it. And then let's fire. For an alpha strike. Just hit once. Twice. Twice. There's two. Alright, not bad. Ha! <laughs> Screw you. I don't know if we're going to have reinforcements in this one. I seriously doubt it. Kind of hoping we do, but because we're getting garbage salvage out of this. Inflicted some heavy damage. Standing by. See ya. Just because I'm. Arrogant as shiz. We get it? No, we got the torso. Ah, we well. Can't win them all. Sprint our asses up here. Let's move. God, I love these fast 75 ton mechs. Commander? Let's get right up here. Can we get... Oh, we can't get in there. Get all these on just in case. I don't want to forget. I think this is going to be it, though. I think this is going to be it. I don't know where. Honestly, I don't think I've ever played on this map when there's been reinforcements. So I don't know where the reinforcements would come from. I really don't. It takes a long time to get the hell up there, though. Let's just put you up here just in case. And let's get you up here. Affirmative. Waiting for order. Let's put you in. Yeah, I think we're done. Standing by. Okay, taking a protective stance. Yep. There it is, folks. Alright, we lost money on that drop. Oh, well. Lost a lot of things on this drop. Man, Six Pack took a heavy heavy beating there. Definitely going to take the Black Hat part because we got, like, a lot more of them. There, well, I don't think we can actually make another mech with this, but take that. What else do we got here that's worth anything? What's this worth? Uh, oh, that's actually a fair chunk. A C3 slave. Uh, 1.2 million. Um, fire control systems indirect. Pirate fire control systems. This is kind of okay, but it's plus 2 recoil with ranged weapons. Plus 15% heat. I know it's plus 3 accuracy, though, but I don't know. Oh, here we go. Plus 20% missile range. That's kind of cool, too. 
But we don't have anything with really short range missiles. Um, I think we're going to go all proto double heat sinks though. We'll take salvage, we can definitely use. Do we have one of these yet? No, we don't. I think it's in uh, Night Witches we have that. Arc. Yeah. Don't think there's really anything else we want here. I mean, it's kind of nice, but we don't really have. Like, our missiles have good range. Like, all the LRMs have good range anyway. We haven't been at a need for extra range. Um, but I think it works with the arrow system and stuff, too. So. Although, you know what? We're going to get more immediate use out of these guys. So I think I'll take it this way. Let's confirm this. All right, Black Hat part. Bunch of stuff we can sell. Yeah, that's it. All right. Uh, okay. Diamond Shark to Svalstad from Wolf, eh? Okay. From Wait, we took a planet from Valkyrie? Really? All right, we made a little bit of sea bills on this one. No, we didn't make any sea bills. We lost like 150,000. Oh, well. Let's have a look at the map. Wow, like no damage, really. Six days of the Timberwolf. That's awesome. Okay, let's have a look at the map. Um, I just want to have a look before we go right now. Um, so, oh, we're over here. Greater Vault. Oh, man, Rasselhag's been getting their asses kicked. I, I'm pretty sure um, Lady Electra is like Valkyrie here. And I think her and her team have been like expanding Valkyrie here. Who's this? Diamond Shark. So Diamond Shark has finally made it to the Inner Sphere. Wolf is doing a... Oh, man. Steiner's getting their asses kicked. Holy crap. We're not doing too bad. Jade Falcon isn't doing too bad. I mean, Wolf has got all the... like. I mean, they got a lot of players. So they're doing really well here. Um, and is this Outworlds? It is. I wonder if we should push along this way. And try and take a bunch of these free like these worlds over here, but I guess it's really the drive to Earth that's that's driving most of the Jade Falcon players. But not so bad. We got Ghost Bear coming up here as well. Uh, they're still a little ways back. I'd expected them to be a little further along, but they're doing okay. They're getting their way into the Inner Sphere, so we'll have our Ghost Bear allies up here pretty soon, which will be nice. We'll have more players up in here. Um, so I think maybe we're going to move from where we are. Going to give them a channel into the Inner Sphere this way. Let the, Give them some competition to fight against so they're not fighting against us. Oh, we did a good job with uh, reducing the uh, influence on this planet. So we'll probably jump back over this way and get down into here. Um, and help our comrades out pushing down here. Looks like Comstar is doing a good job here too, right? Yep, looks like it's going to be a Comstar uh, Jade Falcon fight right in here. Cool. So we're, we're going to get our way like right up into here if we can find a place between episodes so that next time we come back we'll be over here somewhere. Um, and we might have... I know there's been a, a few people that have mentioned it that makes them nervous that I'm playing with really only one Lance of Mechs. Uh, I should have at least a couple of extra. Almost two full Lances. And I agree. We really need to get the other Lances up and running. Uh, we do have a bit of extra sea bills right now. We've got... Um, let's have a look at the Mech Bay here. Um... I went to go put a Clan XL engine in the uh, exterminator there the other day and realized we were out. We were completely out of Clan XL engines. So now, um, I mean, it's got a royal, it's got a royal heatsink uh, kit in it, which is great. But we're going to put a Clan XL engine in the sucker, get an engine in it. We're slowly getting these guys up to speed here. The Black Knight still has a lot of stuff installed on it. Uh, well, actually, all three of our Black Knights have uh, Clan XL engines right now which is great. We've been trying to spend our sea bills on those just to get them updated so that when we're ready to build, um, we don't have to incur the two million cost to put a, a clan engine in these things. So that's kind of what I've been working at. Um, so I'm not sure. We, well, I'm not going to think, I don't think we'll be able to make it over there within 22 days, but we got 1.2 million in, in uh, uh, cost to spend when we jump. So I'll sell what I can and if I can get a Clan XL engine in this guy, I'll do that. And then we'll be ready to build the second Lance. Um, the thought of having to just kind of do one mech at a time is... It's not really interesting to me because I want to run two, two separate Lances. And if I do that, then I'll have one mech ready. And it'll just be sitting there. I don't want to use it in the main Lance. I want to build a, a Lance of mechs. 
So um, I think the Black Knight's going to be the command console mech, and then these three guys are going to be the main fighters. So that that's going to how going to be how it goes. Stormcrow Prime. I'm not going to remove this from from this slot here because if you know one of these guys goes down up here and it's out of, out of battle for a little bit too long, we can bring this in and use that. So that's why I've been leaving it here. It's actually you know it's a respectable mech. It was it was like my first mech that I used. Right. Uh, we haven't lost it yet. Uh, sorry, that's not true. There was an episode earlier on where I did lose it that I restarted. Uh, so I did lose it at one point, but we haven't lost it since that moment. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, that being said, um, we're going to leave the episode here and I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll get those mechs, well at least the exterminator, get an XL engine in that sucker, get it ready before the next episode uh, and sell off a bunch of stuff, make the jump over there. Then we'll get into some battle. Maybe we can get into some fighting with Comstar next episode. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. All right. So if you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please be free to go ahead and subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comments section down below. And until next time, we'll see everybody later.